You know, it was something that like never crossed my mind of something that could happen. So I remember hearing a couple weeks prior to this date last year that there was something happening in other countries. Yeah. And I, I, I remember thinking, oh wow, this kind of sounds serious, but I had a couple friends that were like, no, 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 it's no big deal. And then a year ago today, with everything shutting down, I thought, okay, well, a couple weeks, work at home, it's gonna be fine. They'll figure it out. And as the weeks went on, and as it, ex I mean, it exponentially just increased in cases and the news, and it got, it was so scary to not know, because this yeah. was never something that I would fathom no. would happen, ever. Ever, no, you talked about things, a pandemic was, that's something that happened back then. What do you think about like the, the, the Spanish flu or yeah. like it's just, you know, we, we, I, I lived through the scariness of like the swine flu and the bird flu, whatever, you know, what, but it wasn't that bad. It, 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 we always got through it and nothing ever happened. So this came up and it was like, okay, we're taking some precautions, but then we were shut down and we've never been shut down. Yeah. And that had to be just weird coming here when there'd be with no members here. No members. Our staff was limited. We all had to schedule when we'd need to come into our office to grab everything we would need because then there was going to be a curfew and then there was limitations on driving. And it was just so, I feel like it was the twilight zone. Yeah. You know, We've, it's just to, to have gone through all of that. And man, it was a couple scary hard months. It was because and I remember when you did it was like June or something when you were able to reopen with limited and you were so excited I remember we came over and you and I were yeah. we did a video in with the workout yep. machines and you showed how you kept them clean and, and it we was still do very weird it was weird because half the machines were out of the facility yeah and they're in the and they're still in the gym and these are uh, new procedures that we're probably going to keep forever the way that it's cleaned how frequently it's cleaned how many people are in at a time how spacious the machines are apart um you know because ha there have been sicknesses that have always been issues and it's a uh, flu yeah. and other viruses and so if there's a way to have learned something from this it's that it's how to be more cautious during these times to protect the people that can't really protect themselves a year ago, we could never have imagined that we would be here talking about it being a year. And I feel like so much stronger. You know, in those movies in the beginning mm. of the apocalypse or, you know, everyone's scared, but then at the end, they're walking away and the dust is settling, but they're bad. You know, they're, yeah. that's what I feel like now. I feel like nothing's going to phase us and we take what happens, we process it, and we try to figure out a way of what we can do instead of what we aren't being able to do.